Hello there and welcome to another video. Uh, this is my little platform where I turn struggling math students into math masters and I post videos Tuesdays and Thursdays so please subscribe and turn on the notification button if you want to know when I post any new videos. Right so in this video I'm looking at substitution and I'm teaching you really just how to what substitution is and then how to actually do it to ensure that you always get the substitution questions correct. Substitution is such a huge part of algebra and mathematics as a whole. So it's very important that you at this level are able to actually answer those questions. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump right in. Algebra lesson 10. This is on substitution. So let's start from the very beginning. What does it mean to substitute? Now, maybe you've heard the expression before when someone is absent and you'll get a substitute teacher. So that just simply means that you, that one teacher is replacing another teacher for a period of time. So that's a, sim that's a similar concept when we substitute in algebra. It just simply means the following. It means we're taking, we are replacing a variable, which is our letters, right, with a numerical value, and then trying to find out what would the answer be if the variable was a numerical value, okay? So let me give you an example of what this would look like. So given that A equals 2 and B equals negative 2, calculate the value of. So this is what a typical test or exam question would look like for substitution. Right, so let's say we had the first expression, A, B. Now, if you've watched my previous videos, you would know that A, B simply means A multiplied by B. So if we're going to replace every A with a 2 and every B with a negative 2, so in this case, it would look like this. I've got a 2, and I've got a negative 2, right? So that multiplied with each other. So you see, there's the A multiplied by the negative, two, the negative 2, and that gives me negative 4. So what have I done now? I have calculated the value of AB if A is equal to 2 and B is equal to negative 2. In other words, if I replace A with 2 and replace B with negative 2. Okay, so wherever I see a, a in an expression that's given, I'm going to replace it with a value 2. And wherever I see B, I'm going to replace it with a value of negative 2. So let's do another example. If I have A over B. Okay, so A over B just simply means I'm going to take A and make it 2 and B and I'm going to make it negative 2. So now I say 2 divided by negative 2 would give me negative 1. Why? Because a positive divided by a negative is a negative, and 2 divided by 2 gives me 1. So the expression of A over B, if A equals 2 and B equals negative 2, the answer is negative 1. Okay, so I think you can see the gist of how we would substitute. Okay, so what if we had a situation where it's A minus B? Now, please note here. A, remember we said is 2, but B is negative 2, right? So this negative, this minus, is telling us what we need to do between A and B, but B has got a negative of its own. So this is how you would replace the B. You would say 2 because A is 2, that minus is the minus from the question, and then B is actually negative 2, right? So take note here how we would express this. Now, when you see two signs and a bracket in between, this simply means multiplication. So negative times a negative would make it a positive. So that means I would say 2 plus 2, and the answer for this question is then 4. Okay, so this, just pay attention there what, what, what happened with the negative. Okay, let's do another example. We've got 2a plus 3b. Now, again, if you've seen my previous videos, you will know this means 2 multiplied by A plus 3 multiplied by B. So that's exactly how we're going to substitute. We're going to say 2 multiplied by A, and A is now 2, plus 
3 multiplied by negative 2 because b is now negative 2. So with pod mass, we always do multiplication first. So we're going to find the answer of this, which should give us 4. And this would give us negative 6. So we've got 4 minus 6. And the answer is then negative 2. Okay, so hopefully you're getting the swing of things. Let's try and do a little bit, one that's a little bit more difficult. Okay, so now we're squaring. Right, so again, we've got 2. And wherever I see the a... And wherever I see the B, I'm going to replace it with 2 and minus 2. So if you look here, A is then 2, B is negative 2. So we literally just solve this as we see it. So 2 to the power of 2 is 4, right? We always do the brackets first, so we're going to get rid of this power. So this is 4, so this is 2 times 4 minus 2 times, now look, Negative 2 squared means negative 2 times negative 2, which is positive 4 as well. So essentially, we've got 2 times 4 minus 2 times 4, which gives me 8 minus 8, and your answer is 0. Okay, so this is how you would substitute. Now, when you get to grade 9, grade 10, this sort of becomes a little bit more complex. That's why it's very important that you try and make sure that you understand this as a foundation to what it is that you're going to do in later grades. Okay, now I'm going to do just three more sort of um, harder questions and then I'm going to give you an activity to actually try and see if you understand this work. Okay, so in this case now we have three variables given to us. X is equal to negative 1, Y is equal to 3, and Z is equal to negative 2. And they want us to calculate the value of these three. Okay? So again, in number 1, wherever I see a x, I'm going to put negative 1. Where I see a y, I'm going to put 3. And where I have z, remember this minus is that minus, but z is negative 2. So this is what the question is going to look like. Now, multiplication is what we need to do for each of them first before we can actually add because of bod mass. So 2 times minus 1 will give me minus 2 plus 2 times 3, which is 6, and then negative times a negative makes this a positive 2. So minus 2 plus 6 plus 2, and the answer is then 6. Okay, so I'm doing the same thing. It's just for each of these questions now, you have to just make sure that you apply the correct mathematical rules in order to simplify. Also, as you see this first expression, you can type it into your calculator and also see if you get the final answer. Okay, number 2. 2x over 4z plus 1. Again, we remember that 2x means 2 multiplied by x, 4z means 4 multiplied by z, and then we have a plus 1. So what you'll do is you'll find the answer of the numerator, find the answer of the denominator, and then you will simplify it. Okay, so x is negative 1, so 2 times negative 1 we will place there, and z is negative 2, so 4 times negative 2 will be plus 1. So we simplify the numerator, 2 multiplied by negative 1 is negative 2, and then 4 multiplied by negative 2 is negative 8, plus 1 gives me negative 7. Okay, so this here should actually be negative 7. So let's fix that quickly for you so that I don't confuse you. Okay. Right. Okay, and your answer is then negative divided by negative is a positive, and 2 over 7 remains 2 over 7. Last question. So here you'll see, again, all we do is wherever we see the, um, the variables, we will place it with the values. But here I want to just emphasize, grade 8, that if you have 2 times a bracket and the bracket is squared, you have to first find the answer of what is inside the bracket, square the answer, and then multiply it by 2. Okay? So, we've got the, on the values here. So, this is negative 1, and this will give me negative 9. So, minus 1 minus negative 9 gives me negative 10. Right? 
So if you look here, the 2 stays the same. I'm simplifying what is in the bracket, and that gives me negative 10 squared. Now I square the bracket first, which will give me 100, and then I take that answer and multiply it by 2. Okay, so if you understand all the examples that I've covered now, then you can confidently say that you understand substitution. So let's test that by giving you an example. So I'm going to ask you to please pause this video with this exercise, try and do the substitution, and then unpause the video so you can see how you did. You can pause the video now. All right, so hopefully you feel like that went well and that you feel confident about your answers. So let's mark this. Um, I would advise as we go through these questions that you tick them off. Those that you got right, you make a tick. And those that you didn't get right, you uh, redo and try to use the examples that I've given in this question to help you to get to the correct answer. Okay. But if you didn't get it right, that's also fine. Just make sure that you try and identify where you've made the mistake. So, the answer to number one, you would have gotten negative six. Okay, because I've replaced, so it's three times two times minus one. By number two, your answer was four. Again, we've got two minus two times negative one. All right, hopefully you've got two rights at all so far. Okay, then number three, we've got a plus b, which means we will have two plus negative one, right? And then we multiply that by two and then add three to that answer. Okay, so the answer there should be five. Number four, your answer is four. By number five, your answer is nine. Number six, your answer is Three. Number seven, your answer is also three. And then the last question, your answer is four. All right, so hopefully you did well and hopefully you understand this work. And yeah, and you can actually nail all your substitution questions. All right, so there's that video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. Also note, I will be adding um, a worksheet that you can use to practice what we've done in this class that comes with a memo so that you can check that you're on the right track. Remember with mathematics, the more you practice, the more you are actually able to get the questions correct. All right, so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.